Well, March break is a great time to get crafty with food, too. Craft expert Denise Wild joins us now with fun and easy ideas for you and the kids. And the first one is glue. Yes, <laughs> glue. Who would have thought? Of course, glue and glitter. I'll have fun cleaning that up. <laughs> so, I know. So we're going to keep the kids busy next week. It's March break. And you want to have some activities that are fun, but that are easy and that don't take a lot of time. Okay. Right? And a good idea, a too, impatient. to kind of get them now before March break starts so that you're not having to run to the craft store. Yes. Get, it's going to be packed. It's get be all of your supplies yes. now, today, this okay. weekend, before okay. next week. You're right. It'll so you've made little, uh, like I see you've made yeah, little. Yeah, so this is really fun. And I just took some vinyl cut around with a pinking shear so it gives it that cut edge because it's vinyl it doesn't fray okay and then I used uh, the school glue by LePage it's a white glue mm -hmm. uh, and you can just have your kids draw with it so can it's I a do kind of a modified here? exactly like it's, it's kind of a modified version of a you know painting or drawing but you use the white glue draw a little design on it and then you can add some glitter over top because is this it's open <laughs> I was using it I was using it <laughs> so uh, let's just give it a little shake there we go give it a nice big squeeze oh what? whoa <laughs> a really big squeeze okay so I'm gonna right. spread this so around spread here. it around draw on it then you can use the gl glitter to go on top and it's non-toxic it washes off it's really easy to work with and the kids can have a lot of fun and they can make little designs little drawings and then Ooh, of course like, I've, a game I've made I a little, little bird in flight here, here. Oh, I like that. Okay, hang on. So just pop your glitter over top. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'll talk about the next project. Okay. So again, this is with uh, glue. This is with the LePage Ultra Gel. I'm just going to reach in front of you to mm -hmm. show off this uh, super glue. It's amazing. It has a gel formula, so it doesn't get everywhere. It's not slippery, sip, slipping and sliding. And it has this great squeezable side, okay. so you can really control where it goes. Uh, heat resistant, temperature, uh, impact resistant. And I just use that to glue together the uh, porcelain plates okay. with a, um, a, candlestick a candlestick holder in holder. the okay. middle. And then you've just covered this with I with covered fabric. this with fabric. I used the LePage school glue over top, just okay. like a little paste with a paintbrush. Wrap the fabric around, and then you have this beautiful little tray. This is so easy for kids to do, and then it's something fun. Then they can take all of their little trinkets. Well, that I like you. that it's not all the little Barbie <laughs> accessories here, and we were playing with them before. It's like okay, what to we do didn't with. we didn't have any of this before. Now but you these have are always the pieces that end up at the bottom of your Barbie doll case, right? Right. And or under the them, fridge. Yes. Or have them <laughs> out like this and display. That's kind of a yes. neat idea. Yeah, so the kids can get creative doing this. You can do it with them, and then you have a great useful thing as well. Or you could even make this for desserts, right? Right. Like, 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 yes, exactly. It doesn't have to be the kids. You yeah, can craft too. I like that idea. <laughs> okay. All right, so then we go to the kitchen. We're going to craft with frozen berries. So I've made a great three-ingredient jam. All it is is frozen blueberries, um, chia seeds, and maple syrup. And I'll have you step in here and do this. So I'm you'll take your okay. frozen blueberries, yep. pour them in here. First, you'll let them thaw. You can chop them around with a food processor. Just don't puree them. You want two cups of that. You'll bring them to a boil. Let it simmer for five minutes and remove from the heat. You can just dump the whole thing in. Okay. I measured it before. I don't, I don't want to get blueberry <laughs> juice on my jacket. Well, that's true. That's true. We don't want that to happen. So then you'll add in, there. after you've let it simmer for five minutes, add in one tablespoon of maple syrup. Okay. And two tablespoons tablespoons of chia seeds. Blend that around. Just let it sit at room temperature. It will solidify. You have a three ingredient jam. It took you five minutes to make. Okay. And what do the chia seeds add to that? I've so never heard they of putting are chia seeds. solidify. They kind of soak oh. everything up and, and, and uh, solidify so that you yeah, have that Yeah, because as they get wet, they soak up everything, right. right? So that's what the great value frozen berries. You can get them at Walmart. They're under $6 for a package and it just, you know, obviously it's edible and delicious, okay. but then you have something fun for, to do with the kids. I also made made a great berry, uh, the uh, berry blend swirl bark. So take uh, frozen, take yogurt, Greek yogurt, spread it across a pan, add in your uh, four berry blend berries and then let it solidify, break it up into little chunks. That's pretty cool. So that's kind of still like kind of a frozen treat, right? Exactly. Like you can't, like if we were to walk away <laughs> from the studio and come back in an hour, this is going to be all blah, Right. Okay. But it's a great way to eat.
It's fun what for the kids to I do, do too for the and summer. And it's fun to eat. Yeah. Better than a popsicle. You get all the healthy ingredients in there. I agree. Oh, I like that. All right. So then we move on to our okay. dryer I'm sheets. I'm going to get the jam. Okay, okay we'll here. move this out of the way so we can talk about these. Now, you have dryer sheets in your home. These are the snuggle dryer sheets. They help to eliminate static cling, help res resist wrinkles and reduce wrinkles, and then they also keep your textiles yeah. nice on and your clothes. Soft. Unfortunately, not on your skin. <laughs> yes. That would be oh, extra fantastic. Yeah. So we got 45 seconds. So how okay. do you so how do you do it? What I've done is I've done some crafts with these. I wrap them up okay. and tied them in a knot. So I wrap them around oh, okay. a wreath frame. You can reuse this and put in just different decorations based on the season. And these are great because then, of course, your house smells lovely. Right. I also did these little tiny crafts. I'll just show these. Uh, these are little um, kind of little puppets, marionettes. So I just took the um, snuggle dryer sheets and colored on them with crayon, added some popsicle sticks, and then you have some great fun things that your kids can play okay, with. Okay, great. And they're keeping these toys. It smells good. Okay, yes. all right. And you can reuse the old ones that you've used anyways. Yes, exactly. Okay. We'll put the links up on your social media. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us. We'll Thank be you. back with more Women Live right after this. Here, you take this one. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. It's flying. <laughs>